Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at a virtual property trading game called Upland. Now Upland is based on real world addresses. Back in 2019, they released San Francisco and since then they've released Kansas City, Chicago, Cleveland, New Orleans, Nashville, and New York, as well as a few others. Upland is on the EOS mainnet and WAX blockchain, but soon it's going to be on the Ethereum blockchain. Now when you're signing up, I recommend using the invite link in the description to make your account because Upland will match your first purchase and split the match 50-50 between you and I. When you click the link in the description, you should see this page. Now once you've made your account, if you want to set up two-factor authentication, you just go to the three dots button, settings, and click authentication and you can set up some security so your account is less likely to be hacked. There are two currencies in this game. The first is UPX. UPX can be purchased with card, PayPal or crypto, including Ethereum and Bitcoin. 1000 UPX is the equivalent of $1 and you'll be using UPX to buy most things in this game. Properties can be bought and sold with USD using PayPal, but in order to sell your property using PayPal, you need to have held on to the property for a certain amount of time. And that time changes on the status of your account, basically how much money your account is worth, your net worth. Each status comes with certain perks. So visitors, when you put no money in the game, uplanders, when you put money in the game, but it's under $100. And with the uplander status, you could actually buy Fair Start Act properties. Now these properties are only purchasable by people with the uplander status. So I recommend if you're gonna get into the game, put less than $100 in, buy a Fair Start Act property so you can get those, they're like two to $8. And then if you wanna put more money in, do that. Pro is just pro. Director is a $1,000 net worth. And then you can go to San Francisco and apply for a one of one custom block explorer. And these block explorers are NFTs, so you can resell it. When you get to Director, you also get a 0.5 spark reward. The executive is $10,000, you get a one spark reward and you get access to a one of one custom made building so you can choose what building you want and build that on one of your properties super cool chief executive you get a two spark reward and other than that i'm not sure it's pretty out of the cards for me because i think it's a hundred thousand dollar net worth so your in-game avatar is called the block explorer this little shark is mine right now i'm in oakland but let's say i wanted to go to new york to buy some unminted property or there's an event going on in new york well i would have to hop on the train in Oakland and go over to San Francisco. And then from San Francisco, I would have to go to the air terminal over here, the airplanes, I would have to have, catch a flight all the way to JFK. And from JFK, I'd have to send to wherever I want to where the event is, right? All of these transactions cost UPX and you can actually be the owner of these terminals. So if you look here at this train station, if it'll load, all these terminals are owned by people. They're actually selling them right now. This one's that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, so you, some are being sold for ludicrous prices. Some of the cheaper ones are for allowing $15,000, but these are basically nodes for Upland. Since San Francisco was the first city to be launched, it's far more developed than any other city. So as you see here, there is a bunch of buildings and these are townhouses where soon block explorers are going to have to have a place to stay. And so this guy will be able to rent out these townhouses to block explorers to make passive income as well as each property that you buy actually earns you passive income, approximately 17% APY buying it unminted off drop. The second currency in this game is called Spark. Now Spark is very limited and very hard to acquire. What Spark is used for is development of buildings and properties. So you need to stake your Spark into a building in order to build it. Upland has a limited Spark sale about three times a year. You can also earn Spark by treasure hunting, which I'll cover in a later video. And soon you'll be able to rent Spark from people and rent your Spark to people for actual money. Here's one of my properties in the Bronx. Now let's say I wanted to start a project on this property. I would click it, click more, click build, and then I would choose which structure I would like. So what, now I'm gonna go small townhouse because I only have 0.1 spark available. And here I can change the rotation of it, where it's located on the project. So there's a certain size. So I would not be able to build a luxury modern house on this because it's far too big for this property size. I can change the colors and everything. Upland has a lot of cool plans coming to the game, as well as cars, 
car manufacturing plants. They're gonna have third party developers come in, so they're gonna add things. Right now, they have a partnership with the NFL. Right here is the Soldier Field Chicago Stadium. We can actually send our block explorers to these stadiums and register for one of one jerseys, NFT drops before each game. So I'm a Vikings fan. I would come to the stadium a day before the Vikings game. I would register my character and then I could purchase one of one NFTs. These are just some of the jerseys and hats that I've acquired. Right here, I have a one of one Eric Kendricks jersey that I can check out. And soon you're gonna be able to build shops on your property where you can sell these items, resell all these NFTs. So you're gonna have housing, you're gonna have shops, you're gonna have race tracks where you can take the cars that you purchase in this game and race for money. So there's gonna be all sorts of cool things within this game and it's gonna be an entire digital economy. I think Upland is a great project. I'm super excited for the future of it and I've got some really big plans for this game. I've got a lot more content coming out soon on this project because there's so much more to cover. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss all the things that we got planned for this game and all the content this game is going to release. Have a good day.